The idea for Change Heroes really began a long time ago uh, on a trip to Uganda and Kenya that a friend of mine came on because I had some money saved up to give to charity and had no idea where to give it. Um, when we got to Africa, we saw poverty at a level that I can't even explain. We saw kids that we knew had a greater chance of dying by the age of five than of living. And we saw beautiful villages full of proud people that we knew seven out of ten of them had AIDS and chances are they would be dead within the next ten years. It was devastating, really impacting, um, and probably the most transformational experience um, I've ever had. When I got back to Canada from that trip, it was I was depressed, I was shattered, like I couldn't walk into a grocery store without crying, seeing this massive abundance of food that we have, um, or knowing that we have medical clinics all over the place, and that these people, these, you know, we have resources that these people could never even dream of. And it took me, it took about three months to kind of take that depression and try to channel it towards something else because at first I just went to my friends and I was like you guys stuff is terrible in Uganda and Kenya you should do something about it and no one was really reacting. I really thought that if I could relay what was going on in Africa in a hopeful, positive, optimistic, exciting way that all my friends would give. And so that's where the idea came from is I asked 33 of my friends to give $3.33 a day for three months which would add up to $10,000 enough to build a schoolhouse um, in Kenya to educate roughly a thousand children. So this is a library that I funded in 2009. This is the reason that Change Heroes is here. And seeing all of this for the first time is completely blowing my mind. Who hasn't read? Arthur books, I have, and improving your mathematics, I would have failed that subject for sure, and this, this would be, actually you know what, this is a perfect example of these schools aren't just around to teach kids math and science and social studies and geography, what the kids learn in these schools are about health, about personal empowerment, confidence, about gender inequality is far, far more than a library or just a school that these kids are getting provided with, so yeah, some, some massive learning here. But now I'm back in Kenya and it is a completely surreal experience because three years ago I came here like completely wet behind the ears. I don't think I could have even pointed Kenya out on a map. Um, I can now, which is great. And I'm here with a guy who's 22. He's someone who ran a Change Heroes campaign. His name's Evan. He, in 23 days he raised $10,000 and I just got to spend the last three days watching Evan get um, mobbed by kids uh, who are so thankful for his contribution to their community and watching his face light up and the feelings that he's having for being able to contribute on such a mass scale. And that is, seriously, that in essence is what Change Heroes is about. It's not about $3.33 a day, it's about people getting that feeling of being able to impact the world on a massive scale and giving that feeling to as many people as possible. See the stars.